I really love being able to help children build the foundation of their lives and help them grow on to the next stage. Sometimes the wind flows in the right direction. And it's just so rewarding to see infants that I've worked with in the preschool room now, like talking and like describing things and it's amazing. <laughs> it's so rewarding. A lot of our day consists of play because play is how children learn and we do that through exercising our fine motor skills, our gross motor skills of imaginative play, using props like stuffed animals and blocks. And one of the things that I really love about teaching is the energy that kids bring. They have such incredible childlike wonder and creativity and playfulness and it really helps me bring out those qualities within myself because adults really need that. It's very challenging. It's the most challenging job I've ever had. Um, and I've done manual labor, like really hardcore, but this is the most challenging job I've had by far um, because you have to pour your heart into it. You have to be present all the time with these children because it's so important. Like these first few years of their life are foundational especially ages zero to three, because 80% of brain development happens within those first three years, so it's so important. Cucumbers on the pizza, cucumbers on the pizza, yum, 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 cucumbers. She just has that specialness you would love to see in all teachers that are working in early childhood education, because they truly are the, the first teachers for these kids, and so, to set them up for a lifelong love of learning. It really starts, you know, at the very beginning. I can't wait to taste. I mean, education prepares children for the world. It's time to go discover the world. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You have to take this job seriously, of course. But I feel that everybody deserves Teacher of the Year recognition because we all put our hearts into this job every single day that we come here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh.